Independent musicians need to start using Spotify not as a way to make a quick buck off of your streams, but as a growth platform to spread the reach of your music to find new fans, and the best way to do this is by getting your music on Spotify playlists. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Ryan Vatsek with Lion Bold Records and if you're new to the channel, we usually talk about music industry tips and strategies to grow your music business so that you could find a wider audience and earn a bigger income with your music. Today we're going to talk about how to get your music into Spotify playlists, more specifically Spotify's Fresh Finds playlist, which is a great discovery platform in of itself. And the reason that I know about this is because as the owner of Lionbold Records and working with artists, two Lionbold artists have gotten on the Spotify Fresh Finds playlist before. Daniel J. Woods and Artur Nelson both have had massive success because of those playlists. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how my two artists, Daniel J. Woods and Artur Nelson, both got about 100,000 Spotify streams each because of these techniques that I'm about to share with you right now. I wanna remind you of something I said at the beginning of this video. Think of Spotify not as a way to earn music income, but more as an audience growth tool. The music industry is changing and we need to get over the romance of how the music industry used to be and start focusing on what it is today. And the truth of the matter is that you don't need a record label to find success in the music business anymore. All you need is a group of dedicated fans. So you don't have to align your entire music career and your entire strategy to getting signed anymore. What you should be doing is developing a plan for audience growth. I've already said that Spotify is a great audience growth tool, but a lot of people don't really understand what it truly is, even musicians. And Spotify, like much of the music industry, is a huge mystery. It's really hard to know how much you actually earn from a Spotify stream. In fact, Spotify doesn't even disclose the amount. If you need to learn about that, I'll link a guide in the description below. But instead of talking about how to earn music royalties, you can read up about that in my guide. Instead, we're gonna talk about how Spotify decides what songs go into the Fresh Finds playlist. Spotify doesn't exist in a vacuum, guys. They crawl the web for music blogs, music websites, all of the top articles and publications to find out which artists are up and coming and that are hot right now. So this leads to step one on your journey to getting on Spotify's fresh finds is that you need to spend some time and effort on the written publications around your music. If you're not one to reach out to bloggers or reach out to web publications about getting your music featured in written form, you're shooting yourself in the foot here because that's one of the main places that Spotify looks they want to see artists who are written about who have a backing within the industry. The best way to begin doing this is really to start writing about yourself. If you don't have an EPK, check out one of the videos on this channel about how to build an EPK. Then go on your website, you probably have some kind of blog functionality on that website, and write a blog about your song, about your release. If you're not starting and doing that yourself, you can't really expect anyone else to. Take some time and write an article about your music, describing it the way that you want it to be described, and what you're really doing is you're creating a shareable about your new song. Once this is done, not only do you have one article that's out there in the world about your music, but you now have something to share to other bloggers and other websites that they can jump on board, they can use your information and use you as a starting point to write features about you. This is what gets the ball rolling when it comes to getting your music written about on these music websites and blogs that Spotify actively monitors for their Fresh Finds playlist. The next thing you need to know is that Spotify actually monitors their own users and their activity to decide what is up and coming and what's popular. In fact, Spotify has about 50,000 users that they flagged as early adopters, which means they are on the cutting edge of music. They usually listen to what is up and coming and they have really good taste, decided by Spotify, of course. And these early adopters, whatever they listen to, Spotify knows and they use that data to decide what goes into the Fresh Finds playlists. What we're beginning to talk about is the Spotify algorithm. Spotify doesn't have employees sitting at desks that are constantly monitoring your activity. The 
algorithm does that. The artificial intelligence built within Spotify does that. And so this leads to the next important thing that you need to do when you release music, trying to get music on playlists, is that you need to make sure that fans listen to your music as soon as possible on the Spotify platform. We will never know who the 50,000 Spotify tastemakers are or who Spotify closely monitors to decide what music gets into their playlist. But the fact of the matter is, is that Spotify does monitor activity and they really do care about how many people listen to your song in the first 24 hours. So whatever that takes, whether it's building a massive email list and letting everyone know exactly when your song is launching, or that might include running advertisements on Facebook or Instagram, wherever your audience is bigger, so that your posts reach more of your fans and they're able to get onto the Spotify platform quicker. Spotify is a business just like anyone else, and they're gonna reward artists who bring people to their platform. This means in addition to legitimizing your music all over the web through blogs and web publications, you need to actually deliver. You need to bring streams to the platform and Spotify will reward people who could do that quickly. Over the next few days and weeks, Spotify is going to take the data that they're collecting about your release and the data on other releases, plus all of the web publications and blogs that they're monitoring, and they're gonna take just the top few, just the top 100 or so songs, and include them into the Fresh Finds playlists. Once you follow these steps and your music is in Fresh Finds, this is the catapult that will launch your music into other Spotify playlists and really maximize your growth as an artist. But there's still more to learn, which is why at the beginning of this video, I promise to give you my Spotify playlist game plan, which is everything we've talked about and more on how to get your music into Spotify playlists. And so I'm making that free for my subscribers here. So if that interests you, hit that subscribe button and then click the link that I'm gonna provide in the description below where you could check out my Spotify playlist game plan. Thanks so much for staying to the end of this video. If this content was valuable to you in any way, definitely hit that thumbs up button, that really helps. And then leave a comment with your feedback. I love replying to your comments and questions. And then lastly, if you're not a subscriber of this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell to get notified of future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.